All right, guys. So uh, I know I had posted that uh, I'm going to be heading out of town and, and not able to uh, follow up on, on this uh, gear noise until I get back. But I uh, had a few minutes. I took this cover back off again. This is like the third or fourth time. But I'm going to show you what is going on here. So this is the gear that's adjustable right there. And that's the one where... You know, I set what I believe to be uh, 3 thousandths backlash. This one right here, uh, let me get in a better position right here. This one right here is not adjustable, I don't believe. And you can see there's a little bit more than 3 thousandths, and there's really not much I can do with that one. This guy right here, let's see if we can find it. All right, sorry guys, it's not the best camera for this. So that one right there, if you get straight on, I know it looks like it's not engaged fully, but there's a bevel on those teeth. I'm going back and forth. So you can see that there's a little bit of slop there. And then if I come up here, I'm gonna move this little flashlight so you can kind of see what's happening in here. All right, so down there, uh, let's see here. You see those gears there, All right? And again, nothing looks terrible. So the other thing is I have a little bit of, uh, let's see if you can see that right there. So this is the pulley, and I got a little bit of slop there as well. Here's what I think, and I'd love to under, you know, get some feedback from you guys. I think all the gears are just a little worn, um, and so I think it's a combination of uh, backlash in all those gears, and that probably, you know, probably means pulling them all out and uh, trying to find new ones, uh, which I don't think is actually worth it. Um, you know, maybe this thing had a ton of uh, threading in its life and it, it just, you know, was um, used more for that purpose maybe than just, you know, turning on, uh, you know, with the uh, feed. I don't know. Love to hear what you guys think, but there, nothing looks wrong. I am going to pull these um, these gears out, and I'm going to just double check the bearings. Uh, I really don't think that's what I'm going to. I'm not going to find anything there. The reason why I don't think so is if you remember on the one video, I had it in the, you know lead screw engaged. It was a little rattly, and I put some pressure on the uh, hand wheel here to sort of put some resistance again against it, you know, which is pulling the backlash out. Um, and it quieted right down. So it's kind of like this no load, uh, you know, gear train noise. So, uh, yeah, it's a bit of a head scratcher. I, I don't think that, I don't think that um, I'm going to find the, uh, the magic solution here other than all these gears have a little bit of wear on them and um, I think that what I'm going to do for comparison is I'm going to take the cover off my other machine that appears to be not so noisy and um, you know the back cover not this cover yet on the other machine and then just see how noisy it is and then um, I'll pull this cover off on the other machine and I'll see what the backlash looks like I really don't think there's any other place where I could be, um, you know, getting that that noise from. I mean, you know, if you look inside the headstock on these things, really, you know, there's some gears in there, but um, uh, I don't think that that's the issue. And the other thing is, here, it doesn't matter if I'm in forward, you know, or right hand or left hand threads. It, you know, it doesn't appear to make a difference in terms of noise. So. Um, and I believe that that's the only gearing that is in the headstock. 
for the um, for threading, where you're just shifting gears between forward and reverse. But it, see, I'm giving it a good, and all that noise is right in here. I could try tightening that one up a little bit and see if that does anything. I don't think so, but I'm, you know, maybe I'll try. Anyway, guys, I'd love to hear what you have to say about it. And again, to the point uh, that someone made, so you see, this is the adjustable gear. I'm going to go back to that again. This is the one that's not adjustable. And someone mentioned it didn't look like they were fully engaged. But if you look at that, because of the lead-in bevel on it, they don't sit very deep in, into the... Um, mating gears but you see that right there um yeah you know maybe i'll go grab a uh a mag basin uh dial indicator let's see what we can measure i'll be right back guys so here's what i've got rigged up now obviously i'm going to get a incorrect reading being at such a dramatic angle but let me just show you and believe me this is not any camera's trickery right so my little wire work. So there's zero and just, a, just right around three. So I use that little uh, three thousandths wire to make that adjustment and that's one, two, three. So that actually turned out pretty well. I don't know how much of an error I'm gonna have with that kind of an angle, but uh, all right. So I'm gonna check that one right there next. Oh well, guys, this is kind of a screwy way to measure this, but let me show you what I got there. So, you know what, it's, when I had two hands, I stopped this gear from moving, thinking that I'm just going to be measuring the backlash in that one. But you see that one is actually moving. When I don't, uh, when I touch this gear and stop it from moving, I'm getting about one and a half or so, sorry. But because that gear, the, the larger gear is moving, it's, it's showing more than that. I'm looking at the larger gear and trying to see what it is before it moves. It's not very much. There's a little bit more, I think, between these two, but I, I can't get in there and measure that from my current position. All right, guys, anyway, that's the story with this. So I'd love to hear what you have to say and maybe help steer me in the right direction as to, you know, my next steps. But I'm not inclined to think that pulling all these gears out and changing them uh, is going to make any sense unless I'm just really missing something. So give me a shout. Let me know what you all think. And uh, I'd, I'd like to uh, head out of town with a good frame of mind that my, uh, my lathe doesn't need a complete set of gears. Talk to you soon.